hey YouTube, I've been waiting for this tool to come for a little while and it finally came in the mail. I got the Voyager tool from the Boston Sax Shop and I'm just gonna be talking a little bit about how useful this thing is. <laughs> When fully deployed, this thing has three separate tools that work really well. It appears a lot like a Swiss Army knife and it can attach to a keychain so you can just travel with it everywhere. Unlike a Swiss Army knife, it doesn't actually have a knife on it, which is great because you can travel on airplanes, you can go anywhere and not be a threat to security. I haven't flown with it yet, but I have a feeling when I do, it's not gonna be a problem. The first tool on this is a Lays type of reed flattener, and this is just super useful for warped reeds and making sure that your reed is sealing perfectly on the table. That's this Reed Geek looking thing here. It's not quite the Reed Geek. The Reed Geek has a beveled tip and some other functions on it, but this will flatten the reed nicely, and I've already used it on a couple different reeds and gotten a great result. All that you do is you take your reed, open up the reed flattener, make sure it's the only tool that's out at the time, and run it against the reed, like so. And you'll have a perfectly great seal on the table of your mouthpiece, and it'll make the reed vibrate just that much better. The second tool on this doesn't seem like much, but it's a super useful thing to have. And it's something that allows you to adjust the spring tension on the different keys of your horn. If you pick up your saxophone, you may notice that the tension is not entirely even between each of the keys. Even if you had an expert repairman set up your horn perfectly, what happens to the springs over time is that some of them will lose their tension and some of them will keep the same tension that they were set at. And all that translates to is that some of your keys are going to be a little bit more difficult to press than other ones. Some of them will ease up over time. What this little tool does is it allows you to add or remove tension from a spring once the tension has changed over the course of regular wear and tear. This is something that will take a little bit of practice to get good at. I would suggest only working on a couple of keys at first, usually the keys in the left hand, the B, the C, and the G, are pretty easy to locate the springs and to adjust without the risk of breaking them. When I first got this tool, I went through all of my horns and adjusted a lot of tensions that were bothering me. And I found some of the springs to be a little more difficult to work on, like the low C mechanism and your side B flat and side C. Those springs are a little bit harder to access. You might get yourself in a situation when you start working on those that you can't get out of and then you have to go to the repairman anyway. So I would not suggest working on those right away or changing the tension of those. But these other keys, let's just use the B key for example, is totally fair game. So the first thing that you would do is just find the rod that the B key is connected to and then figure out where the spring is for that particular rod. So you can see I'm moving the B key right now. The spring is located right here. So I'm actually just gonna slide that off with my finger and it comes off pretty easily. And let's say I wanted to add some tension to the B key. Let's say the B key feels looser compared to the C and the G, which are right next to it. And I want that tension to be even. So what I would do is take the Voyager tool and find the spring and pull on the very end of that spring just a little bit past where the spring normally goes on the rod. I'm going to reseat that to the rod and then feel the tension now. It's still about the same. So I'm gonna pull it just a little bit more. I'm gonna take that spring back off and I'm going to pull it away from the direction of the rod so that it increases the tension on that B key. I'm gonna put it back on now. And because I pulled it a little bit more this time, I'm feeling just a little bit more tension. And I'm noticing that that key is now balanced with the C and the G that it sits next to. If I found that I went too far with the tension and I wanted to remove some of the tension, I would just do the same thing, but push in the other direction. Pushing at the top or the very end of the spring is the safer place to push on the spring. It's going to adjust the tension in smaller increments so that you don't run the risk of going way too far with one of your adjustments or 
popping the spring out of the actual place where it's attached to. I have already gone through and changed around 10 to 11 different key tensions and gotten a great result so far. The third and final function with this Voyager tool are the three flathead screwdrivers that are built in. This smaller screwdriver is great for octave key mechanisms, whereas this larger screwdriver is better for your screws that appear like the one that is regulated by the F key. Right now, what I'm gonna do is actually change out the neck on my horn. I'm lucky enough to have two of these great Boston Sax necks. I'm going to change my silver Boston Sax neck with my stippled rhodium Boston Sax neck using this very small flathead screwdriver on the Voyager tool. Let's check it out. First thing we do is we just make sure that is the only screwdriver that's deployed. I'm gonna go into this screw here, take it off. Screw is out, octave mechanism comes off, and I'm gonna go grab this rhodium neck, making sure to do everything carefully. There's a spring that I do not want to mess with the tension on so that everything remains the same and feels the same. Because these two necks are exactly the same size, I'm not gonna have any problems with the octave key sealing on the hole and the cork sealing the, the octave key mechanism. So now I'm gonna insert this screw, put on the horn, and this bad boy is ready to go. So there you have it, the Boston Sack Shop Voyager tool. Uh, some of these things, you know, are very minor adjustments. They're not totally necessary to have, but in the long run, they just make the saxophone a little bit easier and more fun to play. For a discount on this tool and any of the other items at the Boston Sax Shop, use the code SKSAX and you'll get a 10% off of reeds, mouthpieces, ligatures, necks, the Voyager tool, cases, all that great stuff at a discounted price. If you have any comments about this tool and if you think it might be useful, feel free to leave that in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel. Plenty more stuff on the way.